The stabilizers are like giant wings coming out from both sides of the ship under the water. When they move, they help to keep the ship from rolling sideways in rough weather and making everyone seasick. It was really getting rough and windy now, but Mr. Gill said these were just what they called fat seas. We kept hoping there'd be a storm. Every day, we'd go exploring some new part of the ship. Coming? I found the hospital and met the doctor. He said once or twice he had to operate on somebody in a big storm when the ship was really rolling around. But most of the time, he just takes care of people who are a little bit sick to their stomach. This is the gym. Huh, what is it? Trying to get rid of this. Get on. Two I found the cruise mess where they eat or just sit around when they don't have any work to do. It takes about 700 crewmen to run the Leonardo. Waiters and sailors. Deckhands who do the hard work, like handling cargo and painting all the time and making sure everything works, like the propellers on the lifeboats. At the bottom of the ship is the engine room. Mr. Maestrini, the chief engineer, showed me around. This is the master control panel that shows how the boilers and turbines and generators are working. This is the turbine room, where steam is shot into giant wheels which turn the propellers. We went down even lower. We are way below the water now. This is the boiler room, where oil is used to heat water to make the steam to turn the turbines. It takes over half a million gallons of oil to get the Leonardo da Vinci from New York to Genoa, where we're going. In the galley, the cooks were getting lunch ready. I found out that in just one crossing, the Leonardo uses over 22,000 pounds of meat, nearly 9,000 pounds of just spaghetti, and 4,000 pounds of sugar. Gee.
There was even a print shop aboard where the menus and the ship's newspaper were printed. While the crew is working, the passengers are having a good time. Hey, little boy. Hey, you there. Hey, what you think you're doing? Trying to catch a whale. Maybe you will. We were getting pretty close to Europe now. The crew could listen to the radio from Italy. And Professor Della Rovia, who was the ship's magician, gave me some Italian lessons. Duomo, Duomo is a big church. If you go to Milano, it's a Duomo di Milano. It's a... No, uno. Uno. Due. Due. Tre. Tre. Quattro. Quattro. Cinque. Cinque. At night, we'd usually go to the movies. In the ballroom, there was dancing every night. On the last night, before we got to Gibraltar, there was the fancy hat contest. We'd never go to bed until real late. And then Peter would always fool around, doing something, and be the last one in. Well, you go to bed. Early in the morning, we passed through the Straits of Gibraltar. You could see Africa on one side, and Europe and the Rock of Gibraltar on the other. Now we were in the Mediterranean, and it was warm enough to use the pool, which was filled with ocean water. In just one more day, we'd be in Genoa, in Italy, with Grandma and Grandpa. I know we'll never get a chance to take a trip like this again.